what is your take on these new skills? And do you think the outcome-based education model needs to be aligned with these demands? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, no, I don't think that in any way the sort of the education model needs to necessarily change to, to support learning those skills, right? So if we choose to help learners learn those skills, we should incorporate them into whatever education model we're using, you know, at that in, at that institution. So, so I'd say that, like, I don't think those things are at odds at all. Um, I do um, certainly think that uh, there's a high demand uh, for those skills. We have a, a resilience course that uh, we do offer, and you know, some early adopter uh, institutions uh, do deploy that course. Some, though, don't deploy it as its own course, they'll incorporate it into other courses. So the resiliency course may be incorporated into, right now we're seeing it in an English or uh, psychology. And so your writing assignments may also deal with uh, resiliency sometimes or that educational material. So sometimes those uh, items are being integrated into um, other courses and of course, you know, we're not stress testing students in a, in a resiliency class as much as have they mastered some of um, the learning objectives incorporated uh, with that material. So do they understand more about their self-talk and, and, and how, how damaging, you know, maybe their own self-talk is to them? Have they, have they learned those um, concepts effectively, um, which is, which, you know, some of these things are, are really uh, difficult to design um, what an outcome, you know, should be. And, and we, of course, we just, uh, we work with uh, professors of those courses to, to align those things. Right, Ryan, and that, that makes sense. And thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. So it, it doesn't mean, you know, uh, what I heard from you is it, it's not necessarily that the outcome-based education model needs an overhaul to ensure that you know, the students can master some of those skills that we looked at right now, those top 10 skills, but there is a need to help them master the skills. And then the curriculum developers need to take a note of it that how they can integrate these skills within the existing curriculums or the learning journeys that they plan. And the example that you gave of the resilience course, either the, you know, the learners have an option to take it as a standalone or as integrated within an existing curriculum. 